Do you still love to play with spiders? Then you should know the 10 most venomous spiders in the world. Let's get this party started. The brown widow is a species of spider from the Theridiidae family that includes the infamous black widow. As a relatively large spider approximately 1 inches in length, the brown widow is a formidable opponent for most insects, due to its size and toxic venom. The spider prefers warm and dry areas that include brush piles, wooded areas, crawl spaces, as well as porch railings and flower pots. The brown widow is highly venomous and contains a neurotoxin known to attack the nerve endings of its victims. Common symptoms of a brown widow bite include extreme pain, muscle spasms, vomiting, nausea, and extreme sweating. In cases of severe envenomation, muscle contractions, spinal and cerebral paralysis, and death have also been recorded. The yellow sack spider is a species endemic to the Americas. At approximately 1 cm in length, the spider is relatively small. It is also primarily nocturnal and actively hunts throughout the night rather than using webs to catch prey. The yellow sack spider is highly venomous and is capable of biting humans with ease. In fact, some researchers believe that the spider accounts for more human bites than any other species of spider in the world. A bite from the yellow sack spider often begins with moderate to severe pain, followed by intense itching. This is due, in part, to the spider's venom which contains cytotoxins. Reddening of the skin, rashes, burning, blistering, and small welts with necrotic centers are also common. The Indian ornamental tarantula is a species of spider found in South Asia. In the wild, the spider lives primarily in holes or in trees, spinning large funnel webs to subdue flying insects. After catching the Indian ornamental quickly paralyzes its prey with powerful venom. As with most tarantula species, the Indian ornamental is quite large, with a leg span of over 18 centimeters. As a highly venomous species, the Indian ornamental tarantula is capable of delivering severely painful bites. In addition to pain and severe swelling, the spider's large fangs are capable of producing deep puncture wounds in their victims that often lead to secondary bacterial infections. Despite causing no reported deaths, the threat of anaphylactic shock is a potential hazard of the Indian ornamental which, in itself, is potentially fatal if not treated promptly. The brown recluse possesses a deadly hemotoxic venom that can be extremely serious if medical treatment is not sought immediately. Severe bites are capable of producing skin necrosis with wounds as large as 10 inches in diameter, as well as a range of other dangerous symptoms. Children, particularly those under 7 years of age, are particularly susceptible to the brown recluse's bite and make up the majority of fatalities. Symptoms of a brown recluse bite often develop within 2 to 8 hours, with necrosis beginning several days later. Fortunately, serious bites are relatively rare as the brown recluse is not known to be aggressive. The black widow is a highly venomous species of spider from the Theridiidae family, which includes 31 different species of black and brown widows. The spider is easily identifiable due to its dark color and red markings along its abdomen that are often in the shape of an hourglass. The black widow gets its name from the fact that females often kill their male counterparts after mating, using their former mates as a source of easy food to provide adequate nutrition for the birthing process. Despite the spider's relatively small size, its venom is extremely potent and contains the neurotoxin known as latrotoxin. It is believed that the spider's venom is 15 times more potent than a rattlesnake. However, due to their small size, only tiny amounts of venom are injected into their victims, making the bites more unpleasant rather than deadly. In fact, no fatalities have been reported in the United States from black widow bites since 1983. This is due, in part, because of the rarity of black widow bites. The Sydney funnelweb spider is a highly venomous species of spider from the mygalomorph order that is native to eastern Australia. True to its name, the spider is predominantly found within a 100-mile radius of Sydney, Australia. With a body length of 5 cm, the spider is relatively large, with a glossy, dark coloration that ranges from blue to black. 
Found mostly under logs and local plant life, the spider is mostly terrestrial and favors moist sand areas. The bite is extremely painful due to the large fangs of the spider. Common symptoms include muscular spasms and pain, difficulty breathing, confusion, disorientation, dizziness, excessive saliva secretion, and loss of consciousness. The Chinese bird spider is a species of spider from the Theraphosidae family, tarantulas. At nearly 60 mm, the spider is relatively large, with a leg span of nearly 8 inches, making it a formidable opponent to most insects. The spider's venom contains a complex neurotoxin with several compounds known to block neurotransmitters in its victims. In the number of human cases observed, the Chinese bird spider's bite caused severe nerve damage, often leaving the victim completely paralyzed within hours. The redback spider, also known as the Australian black widow, is a species of highly venomous spider from the Theridae family. The redback spider is a species known to seek shelter near, or inside, human dwellings. The redback is easily identifiable due to its spherical black body, red stripe, and reddish-orange hourglass along its abdominal area. Although relatively small, at only 1 cm, the redback spider is a formidable opponent to most insects. The redback spider's venom is incredibly strong and is one of the few spiders in the world capable of inflicting serious harm to humans. Pain can last for several weeks, with complications such as pulmonary edema, respiratory failure, coma, seizures, and skin infections relatively common. The Brazilian wandering spider is a highly venomous species endemic to the tropical regions of South America. Also known as the armed spider or banana spider, this species of spider is extremely large, up to 15 centimeters, and can be easily identified by its hairy appearance. The Brazilian wandering spider is extremely venomous, and is one of the few spiders known to pose a threat to human life. Upon biting its victim, the deadly venom causes muscle spasms as well as breathing difficulties, eventually resulting in paralysis and asphyxiation if left untreated. Fortunately, fatal bites from the wandering spider are relatively rare due to its small mouth and inability to inject large quantities of venom into human skin. First discovered in the late 1800s, the six-eyed sand spider is medium-sized about 5 cm and is found predominantly in the deserts of southern Africa. Capable of burying itself under the sand, the spider is known to ambush its prey which include scorpions as well as small bugs and insects. The six-eyed sand spider is highly venomous. Recent investigative studies have shown that the spider's venom is more lethal than any species of spider in the world. Little is known about the spider's effect on humans, as only two human cases have been observed over the last century. In one case, the victim lost his arm, while the other died from a massive loss of blood. With no form of anti-venom in existence, bites from these spiders are generally believed to be extremely serious, and similar to the effects of rattlesnake bites. For these reasons, the six-eyed sand spider is considered the deadliest, and most dangerous species of spider in the world. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.